All right, everybody, it's time to do our calculations now on the results that we came up with. Um, so here it is. This is this is what happens after we did our tritate test, our tritation. Okay, now this has been sitting here for a few minutes, and it's still pink. So we know that we had found our pH level, and that was 0.2 milliliters. Now. What we did, what we have in here is 10, mil, 10 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol, one milliliter of the oil. Okay, before, I know before I told you it was 20 milliliters, it's, it's only 10 milliliters. Now, 20 milliliters will work, it's okay. It wasn't that, that I did the test three more times just to make sure my numbers were still correct, it still came out the same way. But uh, I, I went back to my notes and checked it, and it is only 10 milliliters of the isopropyl alcohol, one milliliter of the used oil. Everything else is the same, though. Okay, so here's an example. This example shows what what we start. Uh, we will start with one liter. That's we're going to make a batch file, so we'll do it with a liter. Okay, so we have one liter times five grams, it's always five grams. It will always be five grams per liter, plus whatever our tritation, our tritating uh, solution was, which is 0.2. So we take that down here, so it's one liter times 5.2 equals 5.2 grams of NaOH. We're using sodium hydroxide in this one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just put my little cup on my scale, start my scale, and I want 5.2. So I'll measure out 5.2. 3.1. Now you got to be pretty precise with this. You have to Get it as close as you can get it. Five point two, five point four, five point five. A little too much. That's why I like to do this in a cup. And remember, you don't have a lot of time to work with this, because this stuff sucks up the moisture pretty quick. Okay, five point two. Good guess. Okay. Close your catalyst up as soon as you're done with it. Okay, we got 5.2. That's it. We're done with the scale. So now we have our catalyst. The rule of thumb for your methyl alcohol is 22%. Is 20% of whatever you're doing. So if I'm doing a mill, if I'm doing one liter, I need 20, 200 milliliters of methyl alcohol. Okay, so let's go over this real fast too. You'll see some guys that have they'll have the heat, the red heat, and then they'll have the the white, the the yellow. And I'm telling you, we need methyl alcohol for this. The reason they have the red heat is because the red heat is is um, the isopropyl. I'm try I have this focused so you can see this. Okay, see down here by the warning level. Okay. This is isopropyl alcohol. So when you'll see these guys use this, it's they're using they're using this instead of this. Okay? This the, the isopropyl alcohol is 91% from CVS here. Again, you can get it from anywhere. I'm not I'm not endorsing CVS by any means. Um, tells me that it's 91%. We don't know what percentage this is. I mean, I'm sure I can call heat and find out. But I have no idea what the percentage of this is. It doesn't tell me anywhere on here what the percentage is. All it says is a warning contains isopropyl alcohol. Okay, so that's why they're using this. They're using this for their tritation test. They're not using it for their test batch. Okay, so now you go to the yellow heat. If you read the back of the yellow heat, okay, see if I can get it in focus there. Okay, see it right next to the skeleton bones down there? Contains methyl alcohol. Methyl alcohol. That's how you make biodiesel with, with uh, uh, methyl, methylene. 
You need methyl alcohol. Okay, so that's what this is. So I don't, I don't have gallons of it on hand. This is what I have, so this is what I'm going to use. But this is how you will always do your test batches with this. So that's, I just wanted everybody to know that. All right, so now I'm going to take one of my mixing containers here. I want to dump in, you, I can go anywhere from 16 to 20 percent. This is extremely clean uh, oil. So I'm not going to use all of it, plus I don't have that much of it left. There it is. I, I have about 17 mil, or, uh, 170 milliliters, which is close. I'm a little bit more than 16, but that's good. Okay, so now you're going to take your methyl alcohol. You're going to take your sodium hydroxide and mix it. Now, this takes a long time to mix, guys. It takes forever. You would think that it would just disintegrate really well, and it doesn't. Okay. Meanwhile, over here... I have my oil heating up. Yep, it's 130 degrees. It needs to be 130 degrees. So my oil is heated up. It's ready to go. But what I need to do is I need to keep on stirring this here. And be careful. You should really be using gloves and eye protection. Um, so you just stir this up real good. This is what you're going to mix with your with your diesel fuel or with your your mixture over there I have a couple of uh, little popsicle sticks I use to try and get this stuff measured or stirred around if you don't have this stuff mixed if you don't mix it up really good it'll just sink to the bottom and make soap in your biodiesel so it's really important that you get this stuff dissolved and it will get hot, so don't get nervous when you when you grab your container, because when you when you dump in the the methyl alcohol, it uh, it's cold, and then you drop in your lye, and it's you know it acts just like it does in a sink with water, it uh it heats up, but that way you know it's dissolving, and it's very important, very very important that this stuff dissolves. And if it doesn't dissolve, like I said again, you're just gonna it's just gonna sink to the bottom, and it's gonna make soap. And we don't want that. Okay, so meanwhile, I'm going to let this sit for a minute here. Remember I told you before, as funny as it sounds, we're using a clear 2-liter bottle. What you do is clean this out really good. And then what I do, just uh, to be safe, is I use my, um, my isopropyl alcohol. You only put about maybe a teaspoon, maybe two teaspoons in it. And uh, put the lid back on it and shake it up really, really good. And, you know, turn it in circles and everything like that. Well, what, what methyl alcohol does is it dries water out. It, it, it displaces water. And uh, that way when you go to use this thing, it's going to be nice and clean. And, and you'll be assured that there's no water in it. So you, at this point, you do not want any water in your diesel fuel. So let me make that little note there. Um, one way of testing... A, to see how much uh, diesel, how much water is in your uh, diesel fuel, is um, when you get it back from your restaurant, is uh, take a frying pan in the house and heat it up pretty good on your on your on your house, and take a teaspoon of uh, that used oil that you have, and put it in the center of the pan, and if it starts bubbling and boiling off and everything like that, you know you've got water in it, which means that you need to take your hot plate. And heat up your oil and boil off some of that uh, water. You need to boil off as much of that water as you can before you start your biodiesel project. Because, again, if you don't, if you, if you have a too much of a high water content on your biodiesel, it's not going to work.